So I'm going to just try and wing this real quick. A description of previous emulator here. So for system, when you configure it, in this case, I'm going to select the next turbo station and go back to the main menu, ROM. You're going to want to load these ROM files, right? And then you're going to browse for them, and then you want to connect them. You might as well load a version 1.0, a version 2.55 V66, and last for the turbo systems, the 3.3 V74. And if you do browse, it'll let you find in the directory where you have it stored. In this case, I stored under downloads. And then I point, point it at it, and then I save it. We go back to the main menu. For display, um, you can pick mono or color. Or if you had a dimension board and you click that as well. Network, if you set up networking, I use Ethernet, Slurp, and there's a little how-to when you download previous on how to set up your networking, which is cool because then you could use all the original web browsers. Boot options. Pick SCSI disk. SCSI disks. Okay, for here... What you can do is set up a CD-ROM if you haven't done an install already, right? So you want to pick your put your hard drive at zero or one, and the CD-ROM with your next step image is going to go above that. And you can toggle through here. So for your CD-ROM, obviously you pick CD-ROM, and for your hard disk image, you pick hard disk. And previous includes different hard disks that are already compatible with previous and they're different sizes and you just go select and it'll take you to that directory and show you all the different options and you'll want to unzip it first and then pick one you know uh, I think the largest one is uh, 2.8 gig or something like that And then we'll go back to the main menu. MO disks. I don't think you're really going to have to worry about that unless you're doing something with optical disks. Floppy disks. Uh, it's just a standard so you can load floppy images. Right? So you can put in your initial boot disk if you're doing the initial install. And you would put that image in there. And you want to have an FDD extension on it. And that way, Previous will find it during the install. Um, for boot options, let's see. If, uh, let's go back to SCSI disks, actually. You want to have a .sd at the end. And for CD-ROMs, you want a .iso. So you want to make it ISO compatible. Keyboard. I don't really worry too much about this. I just do scan code, right? That seems to work for my Mac Mini here. Mouse the same. Just kind of go with whatever, enable auto locking and so forth. Uh, sound, just click enabled, then you'll get sound. And printer, you pick your printer type. Okay. Then what you will want to do is do save config, okay? Pick this and click okay. Okay. And then if all goes well and you already have it loaded, previous is going to go from testing system. And if you don't have boot parameters set up to where you're seeing the verbose mode, um, it would continue with the graphics. So in this case, I do have it set to verbose mode because I like to see what's going on in the background. 
So right now it's doing testing system. And if you don't have it set, you would get a loading from disk icon. That takes just a second here. It's thinking what to do. Then you'll get the boot process, right? If all everything's set up, it'll say SCSI disk, you know, extended test passed. And then it should boot from your image if you have it set up correctly. And in this case, I've got a 600, let's see, it's actually a 921 meg disk image. And then I also have the Lighthouse CD ISO set up so we can see how that looks. It's going to go through all the boot script. And it's going to say reboot complete. Get a little assist from Bella, my cat here. She's meowing. She's only been fed 12 times today. Okay, so then I'm going to log in. It all goes well. Up comes the next operating system. So that's how you do it. You want to log out. You go here. You click log out. And it should log out. Then we do power off. To exit, if you want your, your mouse unlocked, do Control-Alt-M. It does say that up here. So we're going to power off. Turn it off. And it should just take a second. And that's how you basically do everything uh, in previous to configure it. I know there was a, uh, one of the forum members uh, had asked. So there we go. Hopefully that'll help someone out there.